Hello, and welcome back to the Just RP Red M server. So today, as the title says, we're going to be going over a complete guide on how to join and get started on the Just RP Red Dead Redemption 2 roleplay server. So before you do anything, before you create your character, before you go exploring the towns, getting your clothes, and getting set up for your adventure, you're of course going to figure out how to actually join the server. And for that, we're going to first of all go ahead over to the Just RP Discord server. The link is in the description. So let's go ahead over there real quick and get started with how to join the server. All right. So once you are on the Discord, when you initially join it, you should just see this welcome channel. You're not going to see a ton of these other channels that I see gonna have all the ones hidden that you wouldn't even even see and what you're gonna want to do is at the bottom here where you see allow list red dead you're gonna want to click on that and then you're gonna want to of course stay at the top here scroll through everything you go for all of the rules that we do have on the server as these are the majority of the major rules so make sure to read through all of these then at the bottom there's this little emote here and you just want to click on that to react to it now when you do that it should open up a bunch of channels down here under community red dead redemption here you're going to be able to see the server status we'll just go through each channel really fast so again the first channel you'll be able to see the server status to see how many people are on the server at the moment so again if we do slash status here it should show us hey there's 47 people on the server right now and then of course on the developer server there's no one on it at the moment so if anytime you want to see hey how many people are on the red dead server you just go over here do slash status and it should show you that next is going to be announcements here we put of course any important announcements for the server so definitely pay attention to this channel as well as the changelog channel where we regularly post changelogs to all of the changes that happen live on the server next is the get started guide i definitely recommend or you pretty much have to read through this and then of course we're going to be looking at this starter guide in just a second here but you're definitely going to want to read through all these keybinds get an idea of how everything works again i think in my beginner video i went over this stuff as well but again all of your basic commands and uses for them are going to be labeled here and if they get changed at any point these will of course get changed in turn next you're going to be able to check out the different laws of the land if you want to click on this spreadsheet it will show you all of the different laws on the server so make sure you know if you want to be a lawman or just want to know the laws make sure to read through this as well the next channel is going to be for businesses we can just ignore this for now but this is for people who are looking to create businesses and want a place on the map for it but for now we're just going to ignore that you of course have the general channel a support channel for if you need to make a ticket to get support if you have a certain bug that's unfixable on your own and if you just have some problems some minor problems i recommend going to the community help channel and just asking in here people are usually very helpful uh there's a code zero channel so if you crash and you're in an active scenario you just say hey i crashed at blackwater with the people in pink or something like that just so you know or just so the people that you're RPing with know that you just crashed and you didn't just log off or anything weird like that next we have in town moments where people just post different moments from the server that they like again there's a ton of people so if you just want to kind of go through and see what's been happening you can just go through here and kind of see some of the highlights but look at that's us right there quite the nice view Alrighty, and then of course we have an RP appreciation channel where people will say, you know, different shout outs to people who were uh, doing good RP with them and they want to, you know, obviously acknowledge that RP in a public form. So again, if you had some good RP experiences, you might want to post them here as well. And then of course, a suggestion channel where people are just allowed to put out their suggestions. So again, now let's go into actually how to get started and join the server once you are part of the Discord. So first of all, you're going to want to click on this Red M starter guide click right there and hit yes it should bring up a little guide and what you're going to do is of course just follow these it will pretty much explain everything to you i am going to go over some of the team speak stuff uh so again before we go any further click here and download team speak 3 this exact version and also this exact version of salty chat i'll put both of these in the description to make it a little bit easier if you would like to do it directly from this video and just follow the directions as follows i also want to put something in real quick uh, after you do install this again you just want to download team speak uh download salty chat double click salty chat and it should automatically install and after that i want you to open up team speak and we're going to change a couple 
couple settings that will help us out a little bit and uh, you know hopefully help with a little bit of the annoyances so now we are in team speak and of course to connect to the server all you have to do is connect connections and then connect and then put in the ip that is of course shown i believe right here and that should connect you to the server and then once you're on the actual uh, red dead server it should link up to this and you should be good to go but something that is very annoying is that whenever someone leaves or joins the channel you'll get a user, user disconnected, disconnected or a user channel. connected to your channel and those are very annoying especially when you're trying to rp so what you're going to want to do is go to tools and then go at the bottom to options from here you're going to want to go down to i believe notifications and then from the sound packs instead of uh, i believe it should be default sound pack change it to sounds deactivated hit ok and then close your team speak and reopen it and now when people join or leave the channels you should be able to not have to hear that stupid annoying a user has joined or a user has disconnected from your channel thing that will be gone and they'll just join and leave silently also when it says when this little thing pops up for an updated version make sure to hit no as we are using that specific version for a reason and then of course when you want to join the server you just hit Control s or connections at the top and then connect and then of course hit enter and it should put you into the just rp red dead team speak server so next what we're going to do is head over to the red m application and go on from there again if you do want to figure out how to download and get started with red m i made a video on that as well that will go over everything there but next again let's go ahead on to red m and uh, show you guys how to connect join and get started with the just rp red dead redemption 2 roleplay server all right so starting off again completely from scratch what you want to do at the top left is just hit play and then at the top up here just type in as i have done before type in just rp one word and i believe our server should be the only red dead server with that name to pop up you just click on that and then click connect now if it's your first time connecting it might have to download quite a bit so it might take a little bit of time to join but if you have joined the server before you should get in pretty damn fast so let's quickly wait until we load in here it should only take a second or two all right so now that we're on the server we're gonna start off in this little character selection area now for the purpose of this video we're gonna be of course me making a new character so you see we have our default character here is the veal what we're gonna do i believe if we hold c so let's hold c real quick boom and now we should be able to create a full new character so again from here you can of course choose male or female we're just going to choose male for this video and then from here once you do that you just hit enter select your character and then i believe we should be put into the character customization screen so first of all you can customize your face i definitely recommend changing the type of face first since that will change pretty much all of your face as one instead of moving each individual feature so again we can change throughout the different faces here until we find one that we like so let's say we like this one we want to go with that one we can also then change our torso to kind of change some small features about our body as well as how big or small our body actually is pretty interesting stuff there as well well we can change our waist size if we want to be like a skinny waist or a bigger waist uh change obviously our legs our hair everything like that definitely recommend and going through um for the purpose of this video we're obviously not going to go and create like a full customized character we are going to get eyebrows on though because those are very important uh, and then of course you can change your face from here even more in depth if you want to change certain certain small features of your face you can change it in this area after the customized face there is the dressing room where you're actually able to select the clothes for your character again there is a lot of hats there's 951 hats so uh, be sure to look through and find the one that you most want again for just this video we'll just go with a basic uh so there we go a basic little farmer hat uh again we can get different face masks although some of them will cover up the hat which again if we go back here and then we go back and forth it will show the hat again the neckwear of course we can choose whatever we want here some of these coats don't work at the beginning keep that in mind they don't work for all character models i think some of these are female specific i could be wrong though but i know some of the ones at the beginning may not work but let's say we choose a coat like let's say we choose this coat right and then we go into vests and we, you know we choose our vests 
and let's say we decided to change our coat you know we're just like hey i didn't really like that coat let's change it up a little bit but oh wait now our vest is completely gone but hey i want that vest back all you have to do is go back to the area that you had initially made it and then go back one and go forward one and it should be back same with the shirt go back one go forward one and it should replace it and that should be pretty much about it for character creation again from here we can then also change our height uh, i don't recommend becoming like really really small because you'll look really really weird and you'll move around really weirdly just just uh, something to keep in mind but let's say we'll choose our height we'll just go with the normal height we'll then hit finish and save so boom we can then type the first and last name we'll name him timothy timothy jumpins why not and then confirm and then you should have made your character again in the top right you can see we start with 200 dollars i believe again once you spawn here you can hit n which should be your default push to talk button and it will get rid of this message now our character should load in as well as you can see again we're not looking exactly uh, the best dressed and you will spawn in an area now i believe these spawns for the initial spawns for players are going to be switched around every once in a while i believe when we initially made our character we spawned in valentine with this character i believe we spawned in saint denis yes we did uh, and that's going to be about it for the character creation. Again, if you want to get a beard or change your hairstyle, you can go to the barber shops. Or if you want to change your clothes, you can obviously go to a clothing store. And that's going to be about it for kind of starting off on the server. Again, I really recommend reading through the whole list of all the different actions. I'll go over some of the main ones that you'll lose, use commonly on the server before we kind of go into anything else, though. So commonly, again, you'll use your Z key if you want to ragdoll like that. Um, I may have done that by accident, but let's not talk about it. Uh, you can hit your J key on your keyboard to change your voice range. This is probably one of the most important ones. So you can see at the bottom when the little thing is all the way in the bottom left that will be the whisper mode and then of course we hit it again and that's going to be the talk mode uh the shout and the scream and again in the top left whenever i'm changing this you can see in the top left that it will actually show me what my voice range is and if that stuff in the top left is ignoring you annoying you you can also do slash clear to clear that the next big thing is going to be of course the emotes wheel which if you just hit the f6 you'll be able to bring up this wheel that will have most of the important stuff on this again i went over all this stuff in the initial just rp video but again just to go over it really quickly you have your emotes here and the different uh different kinds of emotes here as well uh if we go back into that wheel we also have the different walk styles you can choose from so if we change the veteran we're obviously going to walk a little differently or again if we change back to let's say gunslinger we're obviously going to walk again a different way those just change how your character changes his walk style we'll go back into the f6 we can change and take off and put back on our clothing here very easily Easily. so again if we wanted to take off our hat we could or put it back on we could as well and then of course we can reload skin so if stuff is kind of clipping uh on your attire or something of your outfit is just kind of glitched out and not working well you can go up to f6 and then of course completely reload your character's skin and it should go through the whole process and hopefully fix any features that were a problem and then you should be all good after that um, we have some miscellaneous options in here for various things yes you can actually buy pets on these server as well let's keep going through and that's going to be about it i believe this job menu only applies if you actually have a job now some of the confusing stuff to do with the inventory right off the bat that might be confusing for new players is how to of course how do you give money how do you give items how do you do this and how do you do that so again some of the common commands if we hit i to access our inventory so again we're hitting i and it brings up this inventory from here we're able to of course like this is how we actually give money to other players so if we right click on the dollars and hit give money and then we type how much let's say twelve dollars except uh if there's someone near you it will pop up with a list of names of the players that are near you then you can just click their name and then of course give them the money same goes with the food water and any other items in your inventory if you wish to give them to another player you can either one right click and hit drop uh, and then we can select how much we want to drop and then it will drop the item the player can walk over to it and pick it up or you can also go in your inventory right click on the item hit give say how much you want to give and then it should come up with players names here if they are near you as well we can also do the same thing for our inventory if we want to use an item we right click on it and then of course hit use there we used our bread so we're obviously going to eat and fill up on our food a little bit more but that's going to be it for most of the basic controls again some other 
ones that you might want to know is if you own a horse you can hit h near any of the different roadways to call your horse uh, if you do make your horse flee though there is a small cooldown before you are able to call it again also if you get into some trouble and need to put your hands up if you just hold x it should immediately put your hands up and or cancel any animations you are currently doing again for the rest of the controls we're not going to talk about them since we did talk about them in my initial again just rp video if you want to go check that out so there's a lot of information in there as well and also on the discord in that get started channel that should have all of the information that you need now quickly let's go over to all of the different stores and shops that you are able to purchase various items from and how to do so but before that we obviously don't want to have all 200 dollars on us and we're going to want to deposit some in a bank so let's go show you guys how the banking system works so if we open up our map and we find a bank on our map which is going to look like this here we have the saint denis bank we're going to head over there and i'm going to show you guys how the banking process on the just rp server works so again let's head over to there and uh, i'll show you guys what it's about all right again so if we go over to the bank and we head into it like so let's not barge for too much and we head over to the bank desk we can bring up our third eye by holding our left alt key this will be used for the majority of your interaction with npcs and npc related items so again we're going to bring that up go over to the bank and then right click and then left click on the open bank it should create your bank from here so bank is not loaded you create created an account now and now if we go over it again we should have our created bank once it's done creating again this might take a second or two to do but if you keep checking boom now we have our bank open in saint denis so we have our name of course timothy jumpins and from here we can of course deposit and withdraw money so let's deposit let's say 107 160 dollars because we don't need all this money on us it will now be in our bank so if we come back here we can again open the bank and then if we want to we can withdraw again so say we want to withdraw a dollar we can boom one and withdraw a dollar from the bank and that is how the banking system works at the moment of this video you're not able to actually store physical items inside the bank for that you're going to need to either have a uh, horse saddlebags or create a camp of your own which you can do with the commonwealth crafting guide which we'll go into in just a second or two so again the next thing that you're probably going to want to check out when you're coming into town is probably a gunsmith uh these will sell various weapons i believe uh there are players that actually work in the gunsmith sh or the gunsmith shops and are able to get you more specialty items but if you're a new player and you just want to go to the end pcs at the weapon shop you'll only be able to buy i think one or two weapons so uh let's actually head over there real quick and get ourselves a little strapped up so let me show you guys once we are over checking out the gun store and how all of that works so again it looks like the uh gunsmith is actually quite right busy right now, now but uh the, let's see what, what's inside uh, here real bit, quick yeah. so again if we bring up our third eye and look over the weapons dealer we're able to buy again some basic weapons from here uh, what rifle do you think is the best for hunting such as the cattleman revolver so we'll pick that up real quick so let's pick up a cattleman for 25 dollars and also buy called? a bit of revolver ammo let's buy let's say one uh, let's rifle. buy four bo yeah. three boxes right. of it and now we should be strapped up uh, and ready to go then, again i'm just not talking to uh, many because i don't really have a voice figured out for this character yet as of course we're not sticking with it but that is how the gunsmith works again from the npc you can buy basic weapons shotguns and revolvers but if you want some more higher quality and higher power firearms you're going to have to actually buy from one of the players as i think we saw one of those people was i'm pretty sure a gunsmith but again we're just not talking to many people at the moment and after buying your gun to equip it all you have to do is go into your inventory right click on it and hit use this will bring it into your pockets which again if you hold tab you can see all of your currently equipped weapons and items you can hit tab again to put it away and if you have a holster it will actually go on the holster since we don't have a holster i don't believe it will go on it unfortunately obviously because we don't have one and i don't believe you can also you can't quick draw if you don't have a holster so if i hit tab right now nothing's happening if we actually want to bring it out we have to hold tab and bring it out but if you actually do have a holster you will be able to just hit tab to bring it in and out which is also very convenient definitely recommend picking one of those up and also if we take our gun out again to load it we just go into our inventory 
uh, with I again, right click on the ammo, hit use, and it will load up our revolver as shown. Then we can, of course, aim it, shoot it if we want to, and let's put it away for now. Next, after again creating your character, getting your gun, and getting set up, you're probably wanna, gonna wanna buy a horse, which again, you can head over to the horse stable, I believe, to be able to buy it. And you're able to buy a bunch of different horses from the horse trainers. We're not gonna look into that right now just because it's a long ways away. Plus, there is a ton of different horses, and I can't really give my recommendation on one or two. So I recommend you go and check them out for yourselves. But after that, you're probably gonna need some basic supplies. And for that, we're gonna head over to the general store. Uh, you can see these located by this little kind of, I don't know what to call it, a sign. I guess a little sign icon. Uh, these will also show the same for the fish buyers, which if you go fishing, you're able to sell, of course, your fish to the fish buyer. But let's go over to the general store and uh, see what they have for us to buy. These are where you're going to get most of your basic items for starting out on the server, such as food, water, um, food for your horse, and a variety of different basic items. So let's head over to the general store and show you guys what that's all about. Alrighty, so here is, I believe, the fish buyer and fish seller. So if you want to, of course, sell fish to him, you can here. And then, of course, right next to him, I believe, if we go... Nope, not that way. If we go this way, is the general store. I'm not sure why this guy's floating. It might be because it's our first time loading in on this character. But again, we can just hit space to access the store. From here, again, we can buy a bunch of different items. Uh, we're going to buy the Wilderness Survival Guide because this will be your initial book uh, for crafting. You can get other books later on as you either get different waitlisted jobs or you're able to get secret other books as well. So let's buy one of these Wilderness Survival Guides. We're just going to hit enter to buy one of course that will cost us ten dollars so let's buy that we can also buy a bunch of different items from here we can buy coffee which will fill up your energy bar as well as your water we can fill water buy water which will of course fill up your energy bar uh you can buy chewing tobacco uh, uh water will fill up your water bar my bad did not mean to say that um cigars of course cigarettes you can buy a little hair pomade not sure what that does peach bread fish bait uh water jugs for farming uh water gourds i believe you can actually hold water in this uh hay cubes bandages and just a bunch of basic items to get you started we're gonna buy a bunch of bandages as well let's buy a little bit extra water again see here we can buy five you can buy a bunch of multiples at a time let's also buy five peaches and then we should be pretty much good to go you can also sell various items to him such as small and thick leather uh meat game meat and raw poultry as well as different fish that both the uh, butcher and the fish buyers will not buy buy from you so definitely if you're looking to get rid of the rest of your stuff from hunting you go to a general store and can sell it off from there also, if you do want to communicate people with people from other towns, there is a telegram station to ICLE communicate with people with, which is also pretty cool. So again, if you look on our map, it should be the one that is labeled as such a little uh, kind of like a little list. So we're going to go down there, show you guys how the telegrams work. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys once we are over at the telegram station. Alrighty. So now that we have barged through the telegram station, I believe... And I haven't done it in this town, but if we go over to here, we can check our telegrams by holding space. We can see uh, if we have any telegrams, obviously it's loading right now, but yeah, we have no telegrams since this is a new character. But if we want to make a message at the bottom right, we can hit new message, type in the first or last name of a character, and then send them a telegram that if they go to any of the telegram stations around the town, they are able to access. So that is how you will talk with people from other counties, or like say I want to talk to someone all the way in freaking Tumbleweed, but I don't want to have to, of course, travel all the way over. I can send a telegram to him and then when he goes to check his telegrams he will be able to see it in there some definitely pretty cool stuff but i do think that's gonna be about it for the uh pretty much basic guide to everything on the server and from here everything is pretty much as you make it and you can become whoever you want to be if you want to become a horse wrangler and uh, wrangle horses for the various horse trainers around town you can go do that or of course you can become the horse trainer breed different horses and try and create 
the best one that you can and of course sell those ones for quite the pretty penny you can also become a bounty hunter in both uh bounty hunt npcs as well as real players you can become a lawman and of course control the laws of the land you can even try and become some sort of mayor in your town which again is going to be implemented later on in the future when if you're the resident of a town which means you stay in that town a lot you're able to vote on different uh scenarios and different situations as well as laws that are going to be affecting your town which is really cool as you can actually take a part in how your town or city develops itself pretty cool stuff again you can be a doctor you can be a hunter you can be a fisherman it's all up to what you want to be or let's say you want to be an outlaw i believe there are store robberies there are bank robberies there's of course different various illegal crops you can grow there's different illegal activities such as a moon shining um and a bunch of more stuff so definitely recommend you know kind of trying to find your place i don't recommend just kind of going in with hey i want to be a blank unless you really set on that i recommend just going on the server and kind of letting stuff naturally develop a lot of the people on the server are really here for the rp so if you're looking for some fun you know a western rp i definitely recommend just rp's red m server and again i think that's gonna be about it for this video there's also a ton of features that i didn't go over but i figured in this starter guide video we'd only go over mostly the core basic things that you would actually experience as a new player on the server but again i think that's gonna be about it if this did help you uh both join or experience a just rp server in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you in the next video